Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Election interference, that's a topic that I want to get into. You know, the media went on and on. Hillary Clinton said multiple times that the Russians interfered in the 2016 election. That's what made the difference. Russian interference. They made this whole big spiel. I think the official investigation, I mean, the count came in at like 5,000 Russian bots or something on Facebook or Twitter, like something completely insignificant with no significant follower account. No actual difference or influence made. A real election interference scheme. But supposedly that was the make or break factor. That was the significant Russian election interference. But the real interference isn't coming from the Russians or the Chinese. It's coming from domestic entities. The CIA, the FBI, and most importantly, or probably most notably and most visual, the mainstream media. You know, Kevin McCarthy took on CNN on this exact issue at the Capitol the other day, totally schooling the CNN journalist. Right? I mean, the former president is accused of misleading law enforcement, of a conspiracy of obstructing justice. That's a different set of facts. Are you prepared to defend him as the former president? And what other actions will the House take in the House Judiciary Committee in terms of funding? Are you prepared to defend your, your network, CNN? That I'm had, you a I'm, a, I'm answering your question. You could ask me any question you want, but I'm entitled to answer the question, okay? You can't put words in my mouth. Even though your network can hire Andrew McCabe, who was fired from the FBI for leaking classified documents. Did you remove him from your network? No, you continue to put him on to give judgment against President Mr. Trump. Speaker. You also hire Clapper. Clapper has come out publicly. Mr. Speaker, and what, steps I the House going, what steps is the House going to take in terms of... Is there any effort to defund the FBI, any effort to defund the Department of Justice after what you've seen over the last several days? So your network hires Clapper, who literally lied to the American public, one of 51 other individuals that had briefings and used it politically to tell the American public that a laptop was Russia collusion, even though it had all this information about the Biden administration. Are you prepared to get rid of those people from your network? Because my concern Speaker as a policymaker is that when you weaponize government and now you're weaponizing networks, that is wrong. So we will take all of our power to make sure that the legal system in America gets the blinders back on and and people are treated fairly. I have a real problem that your network actually pays people Speaker who McCarthy. did classified information and then lied to the American public to try to influence a presidential election and then you put them on your network. That right there is the true election interference. And as the Trump indictment hits, as Donald Trump continues to surge in the polls, well, that's exactly what the mainstream media is currently doing. You want to have a conversation about election interference? Well, I'll show you exactly what we should be talking about. We got some stuff stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, remember months ago when Donald Trump was doing his speech, giving his side of the story, forget what the phony scandal was back then. I think it was related to Alvin Bragg's ridiculous case in New York, but Trump was using his platform to essentially defend himself. And during Rachel Maddow's show at MSNBC, they cut the feed and said this. Um, so far, he's just giving his normal list of grievances. We don't consider that necessarily newsworthy, and there's a cost to us as a news organization of knowingly broadcasting untrue things. So. Well, that seems to be the new strategy. After CNN staff were successful in their mutiny attempt in ousting the new CNN CEO, Chris Litch, well, all of a sudden, it seems like CNN's coverage has drastically changed. All of a sudden, after initially defending the Donald Trump town hall, it seems that they've caved into the lunatic leftists whose perspective is that in a thriving democracy, in a true and fair democracy, the other side's political voice apparently should be censored and blocked from the public. Curious national security laws uh, and then obstructing and refusing to cooperate with the FBI. Yeah, uh, whatever this spectacle is that's unfolding before us, let's remember what this case is about. Let's remember what this indictment charges. Again, Donald Trump is charged with a series of federal felonies for mishandling the most sensitive government documents that we have and for obstruction of justice, along with Walt Nauta, who is charged with intentionally setting up lies to the grand jury to the FBI. Any way you look at this, and again, despite whatever may be going on in that restaurant, this case isn't going to be settled legally 
in a cafe. It's going to be settled in the court based on the facts and law. The folks in the control room, I don't need to see any more of that. He, this, he's trying to turn this in. He's trying to turn it into a spectacle, into a campaign ad. That's enough of that. We've seen it already. Uh, let's go over again the 37 charges that Donald Trump is facing. We, um, we do have now some of the sound, as I told you, we're not, and the audience, we're not carrying his remarks live because, frankly, he says a lot of things uh, that are not true and sometimes potentially dangerous. Jake Tapper says, folks in the control room, I don't need to see any more of that. Apparently, Jake Tapper, the supposed neutral journalist, believes that his duty as a journalist is to, I guess, editorialize and decide for the viewer what they get to see based on what he wants to see. The Rachel Maddow angle, so to speak, who, of course, is doing the same thing on her show. We knew heading into this that he was planning to make these remarks. We are prepared for his pre-fundraiser remarks tonight to again be essentially a Trump campaign speech. Because of that, we do not intend to carry these remarks live. Um, as we have said before in these circumstances, there is a cost to us as a news organization to knowingly broadcast untrue things. We are here to bring you the news. It hurts our ability to do that if we live broadcast what we fully expect in advance to be a litany of lies and false accusations, no matter who says them. There is a cost to us as a news organization to showing you what the frontrunner of the Republican Party is saying during his campaign speeches. Yeah, there is a cost. It's your entire credibility. Their argument is that they should dictate which candidate gets to speak. You know, it's actually like the January 6th committee all over again. The Democrats were able to paint their narrative. They were able to edit, alter doctor footage in order to portray a scenario that fit their political narrative. But the other side, and especially Donald Trump, didn't even get to present present a defense. They're going to report all day long on the Trump indictment. He's guilty. He's guilty. They'll say it over and over again, but they won't play you Donald Trump mounting his defense. They won't show you what his lawyer's saying. Nope, not in the mainstream media's world. They're not in the world of journalism or news. They're in the world of narrative building. They're in the world of election interference, because that's exactly what it is. The average American doesn't want Jake Tapper to compartmentalize the information and then only present one side to them. The average voter, the average viewer, wants all of the information and they want to make their own opinion. The mainstream media wants to make the opinion for you, or they want to set very clearly what is the socially acceptable opinion and narrative and gaslight the other side. What Trump is saying is crazy. It's so crazy, in fact, it's too crazy that we can't even take it to air. Don't even bother looking. Don't open that box. Definitely don't look there. Just keep looking at me and keep following me. Me. This way right over here, sir. It's election interference. There's no other way to say it. It's a corrupt, power-hungry machine controlled by overarching oligarchy-style power, globalist power. And you know that contrast is the craziest element. They made the biggest news so much freaking noise over a couple supposed Russian bots on Twitter. Freaking Vladimir, Andre, and Ivan bots with like no impressions online. That was the biggest story for years. The biggest deal deal, election interference, meanwhile, look at the behaviors that they're engaging in. Like I said, it's the illusion of choice. It's the illusion of democracy. It's democracy, but I guess highly influenced and manipulated democracy. That's what happens when you have the very few at the top who control the dissemination and flow of information. In other words, these people are corrupt and totally reprehensible. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know that we'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you on the next one.